Hey everybody, Joy McCarthy here, holistic nutritionist of joyoushealth.ca. So you may have heard over the last several months all the kerfuffle in the news about lead being in your lipstick. If you didn't hear that, I'm really glad you're watching this video today because it's absolutely true. Up to 60% of lipsticks tested, they randomly tested lipsticks, up to 60% contained lead. And guess what is the safe level of lead in your body? Take a guess. No, it's not that either. Zero. There is no safe level of lead in your body. Why? Lead is neurotoxic and it builds up over time. So this is not something that you want to be consuming and you do end up consuming ingesting it because how many times do you put lipstick on your lips a day? I know myself, I love shimmery pink colors. I might put lipstick on four or five times a day. So the worst brands were L'Oreal. They, of all the lipsticks tested, they had the most lipsticks with lead, Christian Dior and CoverGirl. The problem is that lipsticks don't list lead as an ingredient. I know it seems crazy that they don't have to do that, but they don't. So what I suggest you do is look for brands that don't have lead and two that I'm going to share with you. And they work. So I'm actually wearing a really pretty lipstick right now. It's called uh, Zuzu Lux and it goes on really creamy and smooth. They have a beautiful line of colors. This one is called Patina. I'll show it to you up close. That's what it looks like. And it stays on too. It doesn't, you know, wipe off. Even like after I have lunch, I'll still have my lipstick on. Now you may be thinking, oh Joy, so expensive, you know, it's going to cost double the price, but that's not true actually. If you buy a Christian Dior uh, lipstick, that could cost you like $25 to $30. And these do not cost that much. In fact, this one I think was under $20. This one was around $25. But you know what? It's worth it because you don't want to be putting lead into your body. It's neurotoxic. So if you want to learn more about cosmetics that, you know, are not safe and find out what cosmetics are good, go to the Environmental Working Group's website. I've talked about it before on my YouTube videos, ewg.org. Then go to the cosmetics database and you can type in all of your brands and you can check their level of toxicity and make sure that they're clean. Because what I want you to remember, the last thing is what you put, what goes on you gets in you. So you want to make sure it's not just about what you eat, but the products that you use to beautify are absolutely clean. So I hope you've enjoyed my Joyous Health video today, and I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day.